Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Thank you for joining us today. It is deeply appreciated. In today's video we are going to discuss the topic of learning these life hacks now to prepare for the unpredictable future. And if I give you value in today's video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And feel free to share the video on your own networks. It helps me get the message out. And let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. You've probably seen numerous blog articles and videos that list the latest life hacks. According to the Urban Dictionary, the phrase life hack describes any tips and tricks that get things done quickly by automating, increasing productivity and organizing. Long before the internet and social media, people were passing down life hacks. Some have become obsolete, but others still have relevance today. As you work to be more self-sufficient as a prepper, it may be time to revisit these century-old life hacks that used to be common knowledge to even be more prepared for the uncertain future. Please watch the video to the end, so if I missed any tips, you can add your thoughts to the discussion. Now let's go through them together. 1. How to chop down a tree, determine which way you want the tree to fall. Then cut the trunk alternating with downward and inward cuts. After going about halfway through the trunk, switch to the other side a few inches higher. Then pull the tree down with ropes. Now you have wood in an emergency. 2. How to kill a tree stump. A tree stump can continue to produce strong undergrowth. To prevent this problem, bore holes in the top of the stump. Then place a mixture of salt and solignum into these holes to kill the stump. 3. How to remove a splinter. Fill a jar with hot water and press the injured part of the hand, or foot, tightly against the mouth of the jar. The suction will pull the flesh, and the steam will draw out the splinter. This will be important to take care of quickly along with any other injuries because in any disaster scenario, medical supplies may be limited. 4. How to light a match in windy conditions Cut thin shavings towards the striking end of the match. When you light the match, these curled strips will catch fire at once, creating a strong flame. 5. How to determine the weather If you are setting off early in the morning, observe a small distant cloud. If it grows larger, unsettled rainy weather is likely on the way. If it decreases in size, the weather should be good. This will be important if you need to forage for supplies throughout the day. 6. How to stay safe in a thunderstorm. Do not shelter under a tree as tall objects attract lighting. Instead, look for a ditch on low ground that is covered by low-growing bushes of similar height. And on this topic we have another video on this channel called The Prepper's Ultimate Guide to Surviving a Flooding Disaster if you want to check that video out after you get through this one. 7. How to use your watch as a compass, you can use your watch to determine the points of a compass. First, point your hand at the sun and then place a piece of wire or even a blade of grass between the hour hand and the number 12. The end of the wire or blade that is between the 12 and the hour hand will point due south. 8. How to detect a gas leak Put a strong soap solution on the area of the pipe where there is a suspected leak. Gas will cause bubbles at the escaping point. 9. How to use less gas on a gas stove Place a piece of sheet iron that is large enough to cover the top of the stove. Heat will be dispersed throughout the sheet iron. The pot or pan needing the most heat should be placed directly over the burner where the sheet iron is the hottest. 10. How to pick up broken glass Use a damp old rag to pick up small splinters. Then throw it away with the glass. This will be important, because in case of a disaster, there may be broken glass around. 11. How to prevent glasses from steaming A thin invisible film of soap helps prevent the condensation of moisture on the lenses. 12. How to clean the inside of bottles Shake a mixture of sand and water inside the bottle. Then wash and dry the bottle. 13. How to make a polishing compound You can create a polish for pictures, mirrors, pianos, and floors by mixing together equal parts of vinegar and paraffin in a bottle. Add a few drops of lavender oil for a pleasing smell and to keep away flies. Cork the bottle for later use. 14. How to clean boots Rub the boots with half of a lemon and allow them to dry. Next, apply polish. Keeping them clean may not be a top priority in a disaster scenario. However, waterproofing them may be very important in case of a flood scenario. 15. How to get rid of flies Sprinkle borax daily on the trash can or on other surfaces where flies tend to congregate. 16. How to keep plants watered Fill a large bucket with water and place it a little above the level of the plants. Loosely braid several strands of wool together and immerse them in water. Now place one end in the bucket, weighing it down so that it touches the bottom. Place the other end on the soil. Use a separate braid for each pot. Please note, 
we have another video on the channel about harvesting rainwater titled How Preppers Can Harvest and Drink Rainwater if you want to check out that video after this one. 17. How to Preserve Eggs Bury newly laid eggs in a box of dry salt and keep the box in a cool dry place. 18. How to Boil Cracked Eggs If you add a little vinegar to the water, none of the contents will boil out of a cracked egg. And here is another topic where we have a video on the channel where we dive deeper called 29 Ways a Prepper Can Use Eggshells Off-Grid in a Unique Way. Check that video out too. 19. How to test butter for purity Rub a little butter on a piece of paper and set the paper on fire. If it is pure butter, the odor will be pleasant. If it is margarine, it will have an unpleasant tallow smell. 20. How to stop a mad dog Hold a staff, a walking stick, a handkerchief or a hat between you and the dog. The dog will try to paw down this defense before biting, giving you the opportunity to kick him. 21. How to remove particles from the eye Gently rinse the eye with a weak saline solution until the particle is washed out. 22. How to remove a tight ring, lather the hand with soap. Unless the joints of the finger are very swollen, the ring should come off easily. If it doesn't, don't force it off. Try submerging the hand in cold water. This reduces swelling and may make it easier to remove. 23. How to treat sprains Elevate the injured joint and wrap it in cloths that have been wrung in cold water. The cold water will help compress the bandages. Rub the area with oil or liniment and re-wrap as needed. 24. How to rescue someone from drowning Calm the person so that he or she does not struggle. Then turn the victim onto his back, placing your hand on either side of his face. Turn onto your back, holding the victim in front of you. Then use a backstroke to swim to the shore or to the side of the pool. Take care to keep the person's face above the surface of the water the entire time. 25. How to make a fire extinguisher, dissolve one pound of salt and a half pound of sal ammoniac into two quarts of water. Pour solution into quart-sized glass bottles. If a fire breaks out, throw one or more of the bottles into the flames. 26. How to measure with coins, you can do some rudimentary measuring with pennies. 16 pennies stacked on top of each other equal 1 inch and 16 pennies placed in a line equal 1 foot. 27. How to make a scout's tent, you can build a simple tent with 6 poles, 2 at the top lashed together and 2 at each end for support. Make a covering by joining together 4 squares of canvas, 2 on each side. You may spread other squares of canvas on the ground as a sheet. 28. How to repurpose coal dust, you can turn coal dust into bricks of fuel by mixing the dust with salt about a handful of salt for each shovelful of dust, adding water and stirring the mixture into a stiff paste. Use a box to mold the bricks and place on a board or shelf to dry. 29. How to fix a loose hammer or axe head first, wedge the handle of the hammer as tightly as possible. Then, drill two holes into the end of the wood and drive in two large screws. Bore a hole through the shaft just below the head and place a wire through the hole and over the top. Twist the wire and drive in a staple to hold it in position. 30. How to pull out long nails, to gain more leverage when removing a long nail, place a small block of wood under the pincer. 31. How to make a water filter drill a hole in the center of the bottom of a clean metal water pail and fit a small pipe through the hole. Fill the bucket from the bottom with a layer of large stones, smaller stones, coarse sand, and then fine sand. As water travels through the layers, it will filter through to the bottom and come out through the pipe in a clear state. Now that we have discussed some life hacks for preppers to learn, let me know if you know of some additional life hacks that you would like to share. Please put them in the comment section below and we can get a discussion going with the community. By the way, if you are liking the video so far, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would be thankful. Now let's build on these life hacks and talk about some clever gardening hacks for preppers. If you follow these tips, you'll have a successful garden with less time, less effort, and less money which is going to be very necessary in case of a long-term disaster. One. Eggshell pots. Use eggshell halves to start seedlings. Eggshells are completely biodegradable so you can plant the whole thing, eggshell and all with the sprouted seedling emerging from the egg. As the eggshells break down, they add nutrients to the soil. The eggshells are also free after you've eaten breakfast of course. To harvest the eggshell, hard boil some eggs and strike off the top with a knife. After you've scooped out the egg from the shell, boil them in water, and let them dry. Puncture a small hole in the bottom of the shell so they'll drain. Fill them with potting mix and plant your seeds and you can even use the egg carton to support them. Water them until they sprout. Once sprouted and ready to plant, crush the whole shell gently and plant the sprout in the shell. 2. 
Make some fertilizer. Start with some leftover eggshells and add table scraps like banana skins and coffee grounds and put them into a blender. Add a few cups of water and blend. Add the blended mixture to your watering can and add water to fill it. Pour the fertilizer onto plants in your garden and pots to give them a great fertilizer tea. 3. Stop losing plant labels If you're constantly losing your plant labels and the instructions printed on the package, just punch a hole in the bottom of the empty package and put them onto a key ring. You can keep them handy and have a quick reference for everything you planted. 4. Special care for tools. Fill a large pot with sand and pour vegetable oil over the sand. Mix the oil into the sand. When you're done using a tool, insert it into the sand oil mix. The sand will keep the tools shiny and clean and the oil will help to prevent rust. 5. Easy Seedling Cloche. Seedlings can easily succumb to cold weather and frosts in the spring. An easy way to protect them is with a plastic cloche or cover made from either a gallon plastic milk bottle or a 2-liter plastic bottle. Cut off the bottom and remove the cap. Invert the bottle over the seedling until frost danger is past. 6. Kill off weeds naturally. Weeding beds and borders is tiring and using weed killers is not something an organic gardener wants to do. Here's a natural weed killer that's easy to make. Start with a pint of vinegar and add 2 tablespoons of salt. Add a teaspoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of dish soap. Stir to combine and put into a spray bottle. Spray onto weeds on a still, sunny day and the weeds will quickly die out. Now here are 12 more garden hacks. 1. Human urine, it's a fertilizer, but it's so salty it needs to be diluted 10 to 20 to 1. Pour it on your plants along rows, but don't pour it on anything you'll be eating soon. I know this one is crazy, but hey, it works. 2. Start right. If you want something fast, sprout spinach and kale and in 4 weeks they'll be big enough to harvest. 3. Put a fine Mr. Nozzle on your garden hose, especially for watering newly planted seeds in starter trays. The Mr. will gently water your seedlings without battering them down. And you also may need to be preserving water in case of a larger disaster where resources may be limited. 4. Buy a soil blocker, it's like a mold that you press down into your potting soil and it shapes small cubes that are ideal for starting seeds and the cubes hold their shape. No need for plastic pots and trays. 5. Seeds on top of the soil, you don't have to push your seeds down into the soil. Leave them on top of your soil blocks exposed to air in your greenhouse. This gives them an air start. 6. Try to use cedar as much as possible to both build your greenhouse and your starter trays. It costs a little more but lasts longer. 7. Solar-powered, Automated vents in the greenhouse you hook up the solar to a thermostat that reads the greenhouse temperature and automatically opens and closes the vents to maintain a constant temperature. 8. Chicken tractor, put your chickens to work. Build a portable chicken coop over an area where you plan to plant your garden. The chickens will scratch up the ground and their droppings will add a burst of fertilizer to the soil. 9. Broad forking, a broad fork is a large, four-pronged pitchfork that you stomp into the soil in your garden to aerate the soil. This also helps water and nutrients to seep into the soil. 10. Use black garden paper. Want to keep weeds from growing in an area where you plan to have your garden? Roll out a sheet of black garden paper or silage over the area. The black paper will absorb the heat of the sun and cook anything underneath, including the weeds. 11. Grass clippings. Grass clippings do a great job of holding moisture and providing nutrients as they decompose. Grab a mound of grass, make an impression, and put the pile over and around everything you plant. 12. Garden cover Some plants like cabbages are very susceptible to insect damage. A supported garden cover made from a woven material keeps the bugs out and lets the rainwater in. There we go folks, those are some life hacks and garden hacks for preppers to incorporate into their skill set to be ready for whatever disaster, collapse or apocalypse could happen in the future. As we wrap up today's video, if you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future, let us know in the comment section below. We love to get video ideas from the community. And let us know what you think of today's video as well. We always appreciate input. Be sure to like today's video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about the prepping topic. In addition, to support the channel feel free to click the thanks button below. And lastly, we have put some links to some prepper supplies that you might want to check out in the description below. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.